Hi, welcome to an Outlook training session. This time we're going to have a look at automatic replies in Outlook 2016. So how do we use automatic replies in Outlook 2016? Well, this was previously called out of office reply, but seeing as Microsoft has really pushed out the boats in the, with the fact that you can travel around the world, you can be anywhere um, in any country, wherever, and you can get to your email, then out of office reply doesn't really have the same ring to it. So how do we do that? Well, I've got the computer just here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to zoom in, uh, just to show you, click on file there. So if we click on the file, just at the top, uh, and then we're going to go down to and click on automatic replies. So give automatic replies a click. So you need to have Microsoft Exchange to have this set up here. So I've got an account that's set up uh, here. So you've got various options. So the first one is make sure you have send automatic replies clicked. So it's sent in there. Uh, so it's clicked on. Now I can choose the time period. So say today's date is Tuesday the 12th. So if I want to say that I'm off, off from tomorrow, Wednesday, and then I put nine o'clock here. There we go. In fact, I can type in nine o'clock as well if I want to. So 900. And I'm on for a week, so I'm going to say next week, next Wednesday as well. Uh, I'm going to be, in fact, Thursday, I do apologize. I'm going to be back, let's just say nine o'clock on Thursday here. Let's get the right time. There we go. So I'm from nine o'clock Wednesday morning, and I'm going to be back nine o'clock on Thursday. Now I've got two options, two options to my out of office reply. The first one is inside my organization. So I can click on inside, I can choose my font, different font types here and I can make a custom message, which you can read just here. So you can type in your custom message. Um, this is inside the organization, <laughs> so it might be a little bit informal. If I just zoom back, if I want to set an automatic reply for outside my organization, I can click on the outside my organization, click on that tab, and then just make sure that the auto reply to, uh, I just see that button there, just make sure the auto reply to people outside my organization, just make sure that that is ticked. And now I can put a bit more of a polite message, a more of a polite message there. That's great. So what if you wanna go further with this? What happens if you're working on a certain project and you want an email from a certain person to be sent automatically to your Gmail or other account? Well, you can use rules. So the rules you can see down here, give that a click, give the rules button a click, Okay, um, I've already got a rule here from Mickey. I'm just going to add a new rule and I can use this box here to decide on the different rules that I want to add. So I'm just going to zoom in just a touch here. So if the email is from Mickey Mouse, in fact, if I want to, I can just click on from and type in Mickey. Uh, here we go. And it finds Mickey there. So I'm just going to double click and click on OK. And then uh, if it's from Mickey, I want you to forward a copy to my free Excel training, maybe working on uh, Excel. And so what will happen now if I click on OK, it adds in another rule. I'm just gonna turn off the other rule here. So now whenever I get an email from Mickey, it's going to forward that email on to my free Excel training account. So to everyone else, they will have an automatic reply. That's great, excellent. So the other thing that's just worthwhile knowing is that if there's an automatic reply that's set up, I'm just going to set one up on another computer. Uh, give us two seconds here. Let's just set one up here, automatic replies. And I'm going to send those ones up here. Okay, that's fine. So now if I, let me just zoom back here. All right, so what I'm going to do, let me just, uh, I'm going to cancel that one there. Oh, yes and I'm not going to send, I'm not going to set this up here, but you just basically click on OK. Uh, I'll click on OK again, oops, sorry. Let's just turn that off here, that's it, click on OK. And then what you'll do is you'll get automatic replies out of office, you can see that there. When you go back to your email, you can see this big bar at the top. If you want to turn off, click on turn off there, that's great. So now, this is a nice little feature within Outlook 2016, especially if you've got the, well, if you've got the Exchange account set up on it. If, say, for instance, you want to send an email now to somebody, so I'm gonna to go to home and new email, and I'm gonna send an email to Nelly because he has already had automatic replies set up on Nelly's machine. And as I'm typing the email here, notice at the top, it automatically comes up. It lets you know um, that the automatic reply, that Nelly 
is out of the office. So I can then decide whether or not I want to send Nelly an email. So there we go, it automatic replies. So just as a recap, we can click on, I'm not gonna bother sending that email. We can click on file and automatic replies, as was out of office replies. And then I can put in the details, whether it's inside or outside. And then when I send an email to somebody else, I can see if they're out of the office or not. I can choose to send the email and I will get a, the out of office reply back as a normal email as well if I wanted to, to go and to send the email just for the record there. So there we go, keep um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you feel you've got something out of this video. I just wanna say thanks very much for watching.